it doesn't feel like much right now. So if I was, you know, feeling really bad and, you know, having like major flu-like symptoms, I would be more worried, but I'm not. Rebecca is one of 3,700 people on this cruise ship that's docked outside Yokohama in Japan. She told us on Wednesday how they all had been forced to stay inside their rooms after 10 passengers tested positive for the new coronavirus. Then Thursday, she learned along with the rest of the world that 41 more passengers had the virus and she was one of them. She she was waiting to be removed from the ship when we talked with her Thursday night. She'll be taken to the hospital for treatment, but her husband, who was on board with her, won't be able to come along. We're together most of the time, so it's uh, it's a little bit uh, disconcerting to be separated like this and, you know, when somebody's sick. Rebecca says she'll have to be in the hospital for at least three days. She's been able to pass the time so far by watching movies and talking with friends and family back home. And she has a message for anyone worried she might bring the virus back with her. For everybody back home, you know, we're going to get this taken care of. By the time I come home, I will be fine. They won't let us come home until that happens. Rebecca is in really good spirits considering everything. Her husband will have to stay on the ship while she's in the hospital. Passengers have been told they might have to be quarantined there for up to 14 days. Laurel, we wish Rebecca a full and speedy recovery. Thank you, Catherine.